Moreland's Radio Sport in association with Leak Building Society. Thank you for joining us on the Pokemon Moreland's Radio. Just give us your assessment of tonight's performance against Russia Olympic in the Staff Senior Cup. It's a hard one to say to me. I felt like <laughs> we, we played a major, we gave everything on the pitch. And bar that decision, I felt like it could have gone our way, but it, it was it was a hard one to take, honestly, because we did play well, we had chances, but yeah, uh, I'm just, I don't know, I don't know, down at the minute, but yeah, we did play well. <laughs> you must be proud of her with your performance, and brought back at centre-back and you look like you played your entire career there. <laughs> To be fair, when I was younger, I used to play centre back. I used to play centre back, but then I uh, did the transition <laughs> to striker. But no, nah, it was. Um, it's been hard transitioning, to be fair, because obviously it's just positioning wise, getting myself right. But today I felt like I need to come in with the right mentality and do it for the team. So yeah. How much being a striker did it help you this evening and on Saturday? Because you knew where the striker might potentially go. Yeah, I feel like because I'm looking in front of me now playing centre back, so I know where the centre, um, striker's movements are. So when Rob's peeling off, I play it to him or Tim. And obviously that helps me being calm on the ball as well, so I'm not trying to rush anything. But yeah, no, it helps a lot to be fair. Obvious question is which position do you prefer? Do you, <laughs> do you prefer being the striker or the defender? <laughs> no, I, I think I prefer being the striker. I like scoring goals. Obviously, it's, um, I've helped the team out. Defend them because obviously we've had injury problems, but yeah, and no, I do prefer being a striker to be fair. Clivero, not Clivero, it's Witten Albion first on oh, yeah. Saturday away. It's your, your final away game of the season. Thoughts going into that one? Well, we're just going to keep the same mentality, um, keep pushing, and try and get the win because all season we've, we've st stuck together. Our fitness levels have been high, so we're just going to carry on. Doing what we're doing. I know some of our, our legs have gone, yeah. but we're just going to push, go training on Thursday, work on a few things, and then go for Witten on Saturday. How hard was it out there on the pitch? Because that has a massive pitch here in that 365. Uh, it, it was tough. It was tough, uh, to say the least. Um, I think in the last 10 or 15, my legs completely just, just went completely. But now it was. It was, a, it was a, it's a good pitch. It's an amazing pitch to play on. To be fair, the surface is tremendous. But yeah, no, nah, it was it was a good game. Julius and Danny said to us on Saturday that Ollie Harrison's best defender in this league by a, by a mile. I think you're going to give him a challenge, are you? <laughs> yeah, no, nah, definitely, definitely. Um, no, nah, it was a good pairing today, me and Ollie, because obviously I've I've played against him numerous occasions, and now playing next to him, it was a different feeling. But I think we worked well. We definitely did so. Yeah, and no, I'll just have to see on Saturday. Yeah. Frustrations tonight, but you look at the bigger picture, you won the league, you won promotion, that was the main priority yeah. overall, weren't it? Yeah, no, hundred percent. The main priority all season was promotion. And we've done that. We've done that. So we're so happy to go to be going up. Um the fans have been amazing. They've been pushing us, supporting us, so I'd like to thank them also. But yeah, no, we are happy, we're delighted. Aaron, as always, thank you for your time. Thank you. Appreciate thank you. It. Thank you very much. Josh Brielle, thanks for joining us on Mullins Radio. Absolutely good. I guess you are for defeat here in the Staffordshire Senior Cup final. What's your assessment? Yeah, well, listen, I'm really, really proud of the yeah. players. Um, they couldn't have given any more uh, tonight. And, uh, you know, obviously, you know, they've just fallen the wrong side of the result on, on ultimately a, a contentious decision. I think they were fantastic. I think on the balance of chances created, um, you know, we've done more than enough to score a goal, and it's just not fallen the right side of the post for us tonight. Um, but in terms of us coming and giving our absolute best um, whilst we were down to bare bones as well obviously you've seen our bench tonight unfortunately the, the rules of the competition are, are, quite, uh, are quite sort of frustrating for us because we've got players that are fit that, that are part of League Town that could have been named today that would have allowed us to fill the bench at least and we weren't able to do that but um, yeah, I couldn't be any prouder of, of their application, their performance You know, nearly every one of them has I think got to very close to, if not their best, their best level tonight. You mentioned about the uh, situation with the bench and the rules. Just talk us through 
what has happened to mean that you've only been able to name three substitutes? Yeah, unfortunately, the, the rules state that if you've not played a minute in the competition, um, that you can't be then eligible for the final, which is a which is an interesting rule because we've got players who've been in the squad for all of our games. Uh, one player in particular, a young lad, Ollie Babington, who's been around the squad all season, been in the squad for all three of the games and is unfortunately eligible. And, and what's even more frustrating is that we're the only county that that hasn't this year gone to uh, been able to use five from the named five in game um, and I'm led to believe that that was an administrative error from the start of the season so Ollie Babington would have come onto the pitch in one of the earlier rounds if five from five were were allowed to be used so you know unfortunately today yeah it, it, it made a little bit of a mockery of it because we're in a cup final and we've only been able to name three subs something that hasn't happened all season so that was a little bit of a shame but it doesn't take away from the effort and the, the way that we've uh, that we've performed tonight I couldn't be any prouder as I say and for a lad like Babington, a young lad, this would have been a great experience for him to be sat on that bench. It absolutely would have. It absolutely would have, yeah. And you mentioned the uh, penalty, contentious decision you said. Just talk us through how you viewed it. Yeah, well, I felt at the time it was harsh. I thought yeah. the distance between the de Bucko, the defender, and, and, and the lad who's played the ball in was, was quite small. Um, and and we, were, we were told in the game that it was due to his arm being in an unnatural position. Well, I think his arm went into an unnatural position after the ball struck his arm, which was down by his side. Um, since watched it back because obviously we have the, the games filmed and the live coding and you know I'm I'm, I'm you know I'm convinced that, that what I thought I saw in real time is, is exactly what I've seen back so uh, yeah a little bit frustrated but you know we can't control that we can't do anything about that I was actually really pleased with how we responded after that yeah. and you know we didn't let uh, our performance drop or our heads drop when which would have been easy you know five minutes into the second half or whatever it was he looked devastated at full time did Bucko but the season that he's had for Leaked out, Mr. Consistent, many people call him, and I think you will absolutely agree with that. Uh, 100%. He's been incredible, played every minute of every game, um, and I hope, that, I hope that he can finish the season off by, by achieving that with the last two games as well. Um, but again, every single one of them, we just spoke about that in there, we're going into a league next year that obviously is going to be more demanding. We know we've obviously got to add to the group that we've got, but we want to keep the group together. And after tonight's performance, I'm only further convinced that we can go and give the league above a right good go. Yeah, because they're two divisions above you are. Russia Olympic and people don't take that into account. Yeah, I think from a physical point of view, you would expect them to, to dominate us. Certainly from a fitness point of view, I don't think that was the case. I think that they may be a little bit better at times at using their body and some of the, the darker arts that they just do very, very intelligently. Um, you know, they manage to make contact without giving fouls away, things like that that they're very clever at. Um, but in terms of actually their, their running capacity and physical fitness, I, I think we've We've shown that uh, that we at least matched them given the number of chances we created in the second half and the amount of territory we had. Rob Stevens has had a fantastic season, almost added the cup final goal here at the Bet365 Stadium to his collection. Yeah, I mean, he's, uh, he, he's incredible, isn't he? You know, he's almost scored on two or three occasions. The ball's whistled past the post, past the bar. He's obviously hit the bar in the first half as well. Um, you know, and, and he's, you know, he's had an, an amazing season. So, yeah, you know, he's. Uh, He's yeah, probably the best season of his career, which is which is testament to him to have got himself to that point at uh, at the age of 30 to have come and, and performed how, as he has done this season has been an amazing feat. And Aaron Apoku playing at centre back again, he looks like he's played there certainly all season, if not all of his career. Massive shout out to Aaron. Um, that's only his second game, obviously, as most people will know. His first game was three days ago on Saturday. He's played against Bootle, who are at the top end of our league, and he's played against the team two leagues above. You would not have known that that was his second game as a centre half. He was he was colossus back there. I'm so proud of, of the way that he's taken the challenge on and, uh, and 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 executed. You know what we've asked of him. He was he was fantastic. You turn soon to turn to Witten Albion on Saturday. Now uh, two league games left. You last away one of the season in the Northern Premier League West. Yeah, two games to go. Um, we know that if we can put on two performances, two big performances, and come away with the, the results that we want. That we will uh, that we will have won the league by 16 points, which or a minimum of 16 points, which uh, would be absolutely, uh, you know, absolutely incredible. Um, if someone would have said that that, you know, that was the opportunity for us to, you know, if we'd had that opportunity two games with the end, you know, before the end of the season, I would never have believed you. So, you know, a real opportunity for us now to, to to try and achieve that. But of course, the two games that we've got are incredibly tough. You know. Witten on Saturday fighting for them playoff spots and they've had an incredible turnaround since we last played them the last four or five months they've been 
you know, in incredible form to have got himself into that playoff picture, so we know it's going to be really, really difficult. And that could potentially uh, beat the number of points that Macclesfield had their lead by over Leek this time last year, and we all know the budget and the size of Macclesfield SC. Yeah, absolutely, and I think, you know, you look at the... Uh, the, the strength of the league, you know, there's no teams in this league that, you know, are, uh, are, are teams that you can just turn up and, and win against, you know, and that's been proven so many times. So, yeah, you know, regardless of the number of points we win it by, um, it's been an incredible season, but our motivation is to try and obviously get these last, these last two uh, victories under our belt if we possibly can. You may have lost tonight, but you've won really the main prize, which is the league. So I guess when you go home tonight, you know, be a bit disappointed, but there is the bigger picture really, isn't there? Yeah, there is. And obviously, we are disappointed. You know, we we felt like it was an amazing opportunity, and when we've performed like we've performed, um, you know, it makes it even even harder to to take. But you know, we'll uh, we'll lick our wounds and we'll we'll get ourselves back into training on Thursday, and, and ready for the game on Saturday with a you know to try and make a positive positive response. Josh, as always, thank you for your time. Cheers, Rich. Thank, thank you. you.